now we got a fight on the field. Whoa. The ble Mike Evans just punched a guy, and now the benches have cleared. Trying to hold guys back off the sideline. Wow. Well, we told you these teams have been super chatty in their matchups the last couple of years. And it's still going in there. Yeah, that wasn't your typical. I mean, there was punches thrown. That wasn't your typical post post whistle scuffle. This was this was pretty heated. Let's see how this started. With Brady and Marshawn Lattimore, and then Fournette gets involved. Yeah, Fournette. Oh, and then Mike Evans came and he. Both teams to the sideline. Both teams to the sideline. Yeah, you see, Evans came off and he just rocked Lattimore. Wouldn't be surprised to see some guys thrown out of this one here, KB. Yeah, New York can get involved and make decisions here. We told you earlier about Lattimore and Evans. They really don't like each other. They've had issues in the past. And that is really what got this going. And then Evans came on to heat it up. Flags everywhere. Boy, oh boy, what a mess. Wow. Mike Pereira, there's a lot to sort out here for these officials. Tell me what you're seeing. Well, as soon as you see flags hit the ground in this situation, New York can automatically get involved. Not just who was called for the foul, but whoever else participates in the fight. And then they can eject those players. Now, you heard Sean Hockley say both teams go to the sidelines. And, and so then the officials are going to meet, talk to New York. May take them a while to get this whole thing settled they're all going to offset by the way i don't care how many fouls end up getting called against each team personal fouls on each team number 23 for new orleans and number 13 for tampa bay both number 23 and number 13 have been disqualified from the game those fouls offset it's fourth down So Mike Evans and Marshawn Lattimore are both ejected. And really their beef is at the heat of this fight. Yeah, we've seen this kind of